Hi there, C. Lane Swan, the etiquette lady. All right, so here we go. Ooh, people are up in arms, up in arms right now in Houston, Texas. There's a high school who just uh, uh, came up with a mandate that parents have to drop their children off looking more presentable. They want the guidelines to be more strict in their words. All right, so here's what's happening. It started out a couple weeks ago and a mom was turned away from registering her daughter for school because she showed up at the school with a bonnet on her head. All right. And they said, this is inappropriate. So now, you know, folks went back and forth about it and they figured out that now new guidelines, you cannot drop your children off or at school as far as being in the school or in the school office or on the campus itself with a bonnet on your head, a shower cap on your head or rollers on. So this is their new guidelines. And people are really, really feeling some kind of way about this. Some individuals are saying, look, you know, uh, this is taking away our culture. This is who we are. Who cares what we look like? This is, you know, blah, blah, blah. There's one lady who said this was an emergency. I just ran over here. Uh, and then there are others who are saying that this is a, this is, this is a good direction to go. All right. So here's my opinion. All right. I say this often. Anytime you leave your house, you must be presentable. You should not leave your house with your pajamas on, bathrobes. If you slept in it, okay, then you need to change up. Always be presentable. Always be in a position to where if you run into somebody and you have to represent yourself or your children in a positive manner, then uh, make sure that you look well. All right. Now. That means that you should not have any bathing type stuff on your head or on your body, okay? And you should not have any sleeping type stuff on your head or your body. So no pajamas, no sleep caps, no hair rollers, no silk bonnets. It doesn't matter how pretty they are and da 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 so on and so forth like that, all right? And then the same thing as far as the shower cap is concerned. It's really inappropriate. I know, uh, you know, folks, there, there are certain areas in our country that this is acceptable, but obviously it's not. As a parent, we have to talk to our children and tell our children, look, when you go to school, you have to look acceptable. If you go to church, if you go on a job interview, if you go to a grocery store, there's all sorts of guidelines that we have in terms of the way we dress. I promise you, yes, a lot of times people think, you know, uh, I don't care what people think about me and I'm just going to do whatever I want to do. But you have to be concerned about how you are perceived by others. All right. And you have to present yourself in the best light. And you cannot get people to take you seriously if you are still wearing the stuff that you just rolled out of bed in. All right. So as tough as it might be, this is something that I absolutely agree with. I have I've lived this way. I have said this often. I wrote this in my book that you should definitely not wear bedtime stuff out in public. Uh, so that's it. If it's an emergency, take off the, the, the silk cap and throw on a ball cap. You know, throw a ponytail in it. Have a little extra wig on the side. Now, so... You know, that's my point and you may not agree with it, but that's definitely my point. And so I pray that uh, the folks who are doing this will get some act right. And those of you who are going up to schools with the see-through yoga pants on as well, that's a no-no too. So that's another story. I'll talk to you about that later. That's my advice. That's my tip for today. And uh, hopefully... Uh, we can just do a little bit better. All right. I'm Elaine Swan, the Etiquette Lady. Make sure you visit my website for free etiquette tips and advice at ElaineSwan.com. Thank you. Thank you.